For all the Tennessee history buffs out there, the name Lincoya Jackson will ring a bell. Well, some savvy restaurateurs in Sumner County have combined a love of history and a love of great food in one eatery. Miranda Cohen tells us the tale of Lincoya Cafe. Alexandra Samis and Seth Yergen are the owners of the busy Lincoya Cafe on Saunders Ferry Road in Hendersonville. This dynamic duo have plenty of restaurant experience between them. In fact, that's how they met. So when this spacious, well-lit location came on the market, they inked the deal both on the property and on their dreams of owning their own eatery. I honestly knew with the partnership that Seth and I had, we were, we're both non-quitters. We both will go to the end. So I knew that we wouldn't let this place fail. It's just a blessing. It's, I, I, I would have never imagined. I mean, I, I always wanted to open up something in my lifetime and I didn't realize at 28 I'd open up a full service restaurant and it'd be a success. And if you think the name Lincoya sounds familiar, you're right. Lincoya is the name of the Native American infant orphaned during the Creek War in 1811. Then commanding general Andrew Jackson took the child back to his home at the Hermitage. A lot of people don't know the story of Lincoya Jackson. We like the story, we like the history, uh, we thought it applied to our location. The story of Lincoya Jackson is printed on every menu, along with lots of savory favorites, sure to tempt your taste buds with a great meal and maybe even a midnight snack. We wanted to do a bunch of American classics with our own spin on them. We pretty much take American classics and we embellish them. We make them bigger. Like everyone here always compliments our portion sizes. They always go home with a to-go box. You have leftovers. You know, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We're just trying to serve some, some quintessential American classics, but you know, use real ingredients. We, we make our own dressings. We make our own marinades. You know, we, we have the beef here, of course, but it's, we're not just doing just the burger. You know, we marinate the beef in au jus for a while, make sure that it's, uh, you know, nice and juicy and has a little depth of flavor. At the Lincoya Cafe, they serve up plenty of meat and three Southern classics, like meatloaf, Mom Peggy's famous pot roast, their signature firecracker chicken, and much more. I really like the pot roast. Um, that's like one of my favorite things. It's just comfort food. It's really, really good. Um, I also like their fish and chips is nice and their french fries are really good. There's also a colossal burger. It's two big patties, cheese, everything, topping, all these add-ons. Crispy and delicate fish and chips. You can't go many places and find a good fish and chips. We have a really awesome beer batter on our haddock and it's, people love it. But it was Seth's trip to Canada that inspired one of their most popular dishes. He fell in love with poutine, like most people do, and he decided we've got to have it here, no one else is doing it here, and we did it in our own fashion, and yeah, it's our top selling appetizer for sure. That's poutine. It's uh, french fries with uh, uh, roast beef gravy with pieces of gra uh, roast beef in it with uh, fried onions on top. I get it every time I come in here, which is a lot. Everything here is going to be high quality ingredients. Our big, big salad that everyone knows is the Lincoya cob, a loaded cob salad, and that's always super fresh. Um, so yeah. It, it really, it's really important that you have very top tier ingredients. Everything's sourced locally. Um, the only thing that's not are our Amarosa rolls. They're shipped from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and you can't do a Philly without it. It's that squishy, nice, beautiful bread. Um, Everybody gets it wrong down south. They don't use the right bread. You have to get the bread in from Philadelphia. Six pieces of cheese. The secret is definitely getting out in Sumner County. The Lincoya Cafe is quickly becoming a hot spot and a must stop on foodie travel lists, both for the delicious abundant menu items and also to take in some of the famous Tennessee treasures adorning the walls, like this giant wall clock 
that announced the time at Twitty City for decades. It said things naturally find their way home, and that's exactly what happened with this huge cuckoo clock on the wall. Alexandra and Seth found this at an antique shop in Manchester. It had once belonged to Conway Twitty and lived here in Twitty City. So it was just like coming home. I think we've changed the mindset of a millennial business owner in, in a lot of people's eyes. For someone to believe in us, um, especially us being young, young business owners, um, it's really remarkable. It's a different feeling than walking into a, um, a corporate restaurant, you know, this mom and pop feel, the local feel, feel everyone and their mother wants that.